NFT Weekly, EU may be cracking down on NFTs, pudgy penguins soar, fighting NFT thieves. Notwithstanding remarks going against the norm, it seems to be the EU's enormous crypto guideline structure will cover NFTs all things considered. Since the EU's different arms, including the European Parliament, EPI, and European Central Bank, ECB, said that the arrangement had struck to pass the markets in crypto assets, MICA, billboard non-fungible tokens, doesn't mean it will buy and buy, an European official recommended at the Korea Blockchain Week meeting on August 9, Coindesk detailed for this present week. Truly, any NFT that is essential for an assortment or, in other words, practically every one of them will probably need to maintain the EU rules intended to give token purchasers data about the tokens and their dangers, Peter Kirsten said. EU lawmakers take an extremely limited perspective on what is an NFT, Kirsten said, Coindesk detailed. Assuming a token is given as an assortment or as a series, despite the fact that the backer might call it a NFT and, surprisingly, However, every individual token in that series might be one of a kind, it's not viewed as a NFT, so the prerequisites will apply. The European Council's delivery depicting the MICA arrangement arrived at on June 30 said that computerized resources addressing genuine items like workmanship, music and recordings will be barred from the extension with the exception of assuming they fall under existing crypto resource classes. It added that a complete evaluation and, if essential, a particular regulative proposition tending to the NFT market and its dangers would be expected in year and a half. What it comes down to, Kirsten said, is a distinction of assessment between the public states, who saw adding NFTs as pushing to a long way from the center of a bill intended to shield financial backers from dangerous stablecoins and digital currency contributions. In any case, the European Parliament was more worried about issues like cost control, Coindesk said. Thick plushes. Presently, you might have heard that NFTs are a method for turning computerized renditions of genuine articles like Nike tennis shoes and McDonald's cheeseburgers into cash. Nonetheless, one semi-famous NFT assortment, Pudgy Penguins, saw its cost spike after its maker declared that a line extravagant toys in view of the flightless NFT foul. Deals on OpenSea, by a wide margin the biggest NFT commercial center, are up 350% since the August 11th declaration. Then again, it might likewise be an admonition about purchasing NFTs when news hits. They are, as most digital currencies, exceptionally unstable and will more often than not pop down in the future. Which occurred, as per nonfungible.com which detailed 14 deals adding up to $55,000 on August 9th leap to 107 deals worth $533,000 on August 11th, a level it held for one day prior to slipping quickly. By August 16th, numbers were seeming as though they did before the plushies. Selling stolen NFTs gets harder. Another issue OpenSea has had is the offer of taken NFTs, which has turned into a more serious issue as costs rise, making programmers and tricksters move in. See more, Seth Green's kidnapped board ape shows NFTs growing commercialization. Most prominently when entertainer, jokester and TV maker Seth Green needed to repurchase his own taken board ape collectible expected to be the primary person of another TV show, White Horse, for $300,000. Indeed, OpenSea has had quite terrible press over this, not the least of which comes from individuals who unconsciously purchased a taken NFT. Subsequent to taking a concession for not imparting the strategy obviously and at times making things too troublesome, the commercial center on August 10 conveyed a Twitter string that made sense of its strategy, beginning with the blindingly self-evident, that it is illegal to help or permit the offer of taken property intentionally. That moved into, at times, the buyer who unwittingly purchased a taken thing, at no issue of their own, was incidentally punished which is fairly unavoidable in that digital currency exchanges can't be switched and the vendors are taken cover behind crypto's pseudonymity which, when you're a lawbreaker, is extra difficult to break as shrewd NFT hoodlums don't have reserves shipped off a location requiring know your client, KYC, data. Changes incorporate requiring a police report in something like seven days to back up all claims that a taken NFT is available to be purchased and making it simpler to re-empower the offer of an NFT that has been gotten back to its original owner.